In March 2020, the Kentucky Humane Society made the difficult but necessary decision to temporarily close our doors to the public due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We were faced with a choice to discontinue operations until the crisis was over or adapt to a new reality and fight for the animals in need. For us, it was never a question. We asked the public for help emptying the shelter and we were amazed by your response. Within a week, over 100 animals were adopted and 240 dogs and cats were in foster homes. The silence at the shelter was something we had never experienced. Row after row of empty kennels and hundreds of happy animals in loving homes. We were grateful to know that our community was there for the animals when we needed you most. But as we often ask in animal welfare, who rescued who? For every animal who is rescued, there is a person who is rescued too. Lauren is an army veteran who suffers from chronic pain. She fostered a puppy to help us out and ended up being helped in return. When Lauren Nichols brought Rhonda home as a foster dog, she didn't know how long the puppy would be there. <laughs> it was a bit of a, a nerve wracking thing to start fostering with no time frame in mind. But as time went on, Rhonda got along great with Lauren, her husband, and their two other dogs. She just kind of fit into the family, it was perfect. And that uncertain amount of time turned into forever when Lauren adopted Rhonda officially. She's just one in a long list of foster parents who ended up adopting from the Humane Society. When the shelter closed in March, more than 240 animals went into foster families. At that time, about 25% of all the animals that went into foster were adopted by their foster families. Normally that number is only about 5%, but over those two months, many fosters like Lauren really bonded with their pet. She was tuning into me and she was playing across my lap when I was upset or just being near me when I was stressed out. Lauren started out training Rhonda with basic commands like sit and stay. But once she realized Rhonda liked training and was pretty good at it, Lauren decided to train her even further. Now she's training Rhonda to be a service dog to help with her anxiety and chronic pain. Help me kind of gain confidence and be able to get out a little bit more than I am now. Those first few months of the pandemic were scary for everyone. It was a time of uncertainty, with each day bringing new challenges. And the Kentucky Humane Society was not spared. We closed our adoption centers and our pet resorts. Our SNP clinic and healthy pets clinics were shuttered. And our veterinary team donated extra PPE to human hospitals in critical need. Fundraising events were delayed or canceled. The future was uncertain. But with your support, KHS continued to be there for animals and people in need. With almost 40% of Kentuckians out of work and losing their jobs, calls to our helpline reach over 500 a week. So many desperate pet owners in need of help. On March 29th, we opened a COVID-19 pet food bank. Caring community members and manufacturers donated over 50 pallets of food. Mr. P Express donated a semi-trailer to store all the donations. In one month alone, over 2,500 families and 5,000 pets were assisted. Jarvis and Amber are just two of the thousands of pet owners who lost their jobs because of COVID and are having trouble feeding their animals. During the pandemic, we continued to respond to homeless animals in crisis, taking in sick and injured cats and dogs in need of emergency surgeries. Our staff worked tirelessly to save them. Then in late April, the Kentucky State Police contacted us after a horse owner was charged with 44 counts of animal cruelty. Four horses were found dead on her property in Wayne County, and there were still more suffering. Our equine team coordinated the rescue. 21 of those horses came to Willow Hope Farm in Simpsonville for rehabilitation, including Peanut, a two-year-old Pinto, who was the size of a yearling from lack of nutrition. This kind, gentle horse now has a bright future, thanks to your support. By May, KHS had settled into a new routine. We opened adoptions by appointment, following state and CDC guidelines to help keep our community and our staff safe. Even through their masks, it's easy to see how happy adopters are as they take home their new companions. We're also helping overcrowded shelters throughout Kentucky. In the last four months alone, over 1,500 grateful dogs and cats have made the journey to Louisville so we could find families to love them. Our SNP clinic has reopened and is offering free and discounted surgeries to help ensure economic crisis is not a barrier to animals needing spaying or neutering. 
like all of you, we've learned to adapt to a new reality. We're doing things differently, but our mission remains the same. With your help, we'll continue to be a champion for companion animals.